Hey guys, it's Becky Bamboo. I'm snuggled in bed trying to stay warm. It's cold. It's snowy outside. It's crappy today. It is uh, Wednesday, March 30th, 2011. I actually wanted to, to do a, a quick video to kind of talk about a few things. I've been laying here watching some YouTube videos and catching up on the comments that were left on my, um, my video about um, um, being offended, the, the offended video. And um, really, what I want to say is that um, I, I realize and I want people to know that I realize that my gastric bypass has been a huge help for me in terms of how much weight I've lost. But nobody out there, and no matter what anybody ever tries to say to me, will make me change my mind about one specific thing. And that is, I would not be 170 pounds lighter right now if I had not put all of the work into working out and going to the gym and uh, walking and running and lifting weights and doing the elliptical and biking and everything else that I've done, swimming, um, I would not be 170 pounds lighter without that work ethic and without having done all of that. You'll never make me believe anything any different. Um, <clears throat> do I think I would have lost a good bit of weight right now uh, without working out? Probably so. I know for a fact it wouldn't have been 170 pounds. Um, I have burned a lot of calories and all that does is contribute and you know increase the amount of weight that I can lose and have lost. And so you'll, it's just not going to be possible to ever change my mind about that. Um, I do believe that my bypass gave me a leg up in this race. Absolutely. I would be, um, I would be just stupid if I said anything any different. Um, I needed to have this surgery. Uh, I, I know I made the correct choice in having this surgery. Um, one of the main things that bothers me about what this person said to me is that um, she's she commented that um, she didn't want to start a new diet and she is a big diet person every fad diet ever created she has done everything from soup diets to Atkins to um, just uh, just every stupid fad diet that has that has ever hit the market she's done and um, so she tells me she didn't want to start a new diet until um, after Easter, because, you know, Easter's got all this candy and blah, 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 blah. And I, my response to her was, you know, this is about losing weight is about creating a healthy lifestyle. And you need to understand that a healthy lifestyle is not just a couple months a year in between holidays. Um, and the holidays don't stop in 2000, at the end of 2011, every year there's going to be holidays. Every season we have holidays you have to learn how to deal with it and still maintain a healthy lifestyle. And she just flat out said, well, you don't have to worry about it because you had gastric bypass. And I said, excuse me, I do have to still worry about it. I still have the same food issues that everybody else does. And she's just flat out said, no, you don't, you don't because you had surgery. So you don't have those problems anymore. And I'm like, you're very, that's very, you've got misinformation because I still have the same cravings that you do. I still want candy and cakes and cookies and junk food and hamburgers and french fries and all that kind of crap. I want the same stuff that everybody else likes to eat because it tastes good. Um, but you know, I have to make the conscious decision when I go out to dinner, well, maybe I should get the fish and vegetables instead of the burger and fries. You know, I have to do that. And she just flat out, like, will not listen to, just, no, you had surgery, so you don't have any food issues. And it's like, okay, whatever. I mean, this is clearly somebody who has no idea. And that's what was the main irritation to me in this whole thing, is that um, everything that I've done to her has purely been about the surgery. It hasn't been about the conscious choices I have to make. Not only in terms of working out, I mean, I think I focus mainly on working out because it irritates me that people believe that I am not capable um, of contributing and benefiting myself and being successful and adding to my success because I can work out. People, people, I can't believe that there's people out there that really think that my 170 pounds is purely 
because of gastric bypass. Because I will never be convinced of that. I will never be convinced of that. So, um, anyway, um, I, I just wanted to make it clear that I do, yes, I do feel that the gastric bypass surgery has been a huge help to me. It, it's been a huge tool, a huge step up. It's, yes, it's an advantage over just any ordinary person. That's why I did it. Otherwise, there'd be no reason for me to do it. Um, but also that I will not, you're, you're never going to tell me that the extra work that I've put in, um, that you can't tell me that hasn't made a difference because, um, in my mind, it's made a world of difference. And I honestly don't believe that I would be the, the same size I am, the same shape that I am, um, the same weight that I am, had I not put all that work into it. And, um, so that's the bottom line for me. Uh, with that said, um, I just, I, I just, I guess I just needed to, to kind of clear it up a little bit more because I feel like maybe I didn't say that I believe that my weight loss surgery has helped. Um, and that's not the case. I mean, I, I would do this again in a heartbeat because it has been so successful for me and it has made, it's made me feel normal for the first time ever in my life. I feel normal after this surgery. I feel like I eat like a normal person is supposed to eat, not just engorging myself until I feel sick. And, um, I finally can listen to my body and understand what that even means. I never even understood what listen to your body means until I had weight loss surgery. Um, so anyway, I just, I guess I wanted to just kind of speak my final piece about this and also to say thank you for everybody for all the responses and everything. I think it's been very, very interesting to see and read and all the different perspectives on this. Um, a lot of you seem to side with me and agree that, um, you know, this person maybe just needs to keep their mouth shut and I definitely believe that's true. Um. I've heard other sides saying you're just getting too heated about it and you know your your surgery has helped you and you shouldn't you shouldn't act like it hasn't because it has and I'm not trying to act like it hasn't helped me. I'm just trying to get credit where credit is due. At the end of the day, I know how much work I've put into this and so do almost everybody that is in my life. Um, which is what shocks me about this is that there can possibly be one person left nine months later who doesn't get it, who doesn't get how much work I've put into this. And also that there's somebody left out there who really honestly believes that gastric bypass was a magic cure and I don't have food issues anymore and I don't struggle with, with anything. That it's just, oh, it's all easy. Like all of a sudden I woke up one day. I was 170 pounds lighter and I can run a 5k and I never have to have a, a difficult choice when it comes to eating and all this stuff. I can't even believe that there's anybody who would think that. So that that's my main issue and my main, why I was offense, like why I took offense to the conversation. And, um, anyway, thank you all for your responses. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday. I'm sure I'll check in later. Um, and that's it. Bye, guys.